calling the Royal Court of Justice. The offices are now closed. Our normal opening hours are 9am to 5pm, Monday to Friday. If you require urgent court business, please press 1 for security. Hello, Royal Court of Justice, Security Control. Hello, yeah, I put in an urgent injunction application uh, on the 14th of March. I just wondered if, if it's possible to get, get a result. Unfortunately, you won't be able to do that now until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's due to the fact that we're now in the out of hours and we don't have access to that information, unfortunately. Um, well, I, I've been ringing the out of hours and they told me to go in person. I've been in person a few times and it's not been processed Okay, unfortunately, I can't comment on that. As I say, because because now we're on the uh, it's Friday, I'll up quarter to seven. We're on the out of hours time table. We don't have access to that sort of information. Well, apparently no there is an out of hours service, so that's what I want. There is to... an out of hours service for new new cases, not for existing. Well, I've got an, an I've got a an, a new application as well. Okay, if you hold the lines, so let me get a notepad and pen, and I'll take some information from you. Thanks. Hello. Hello, hi. Hello, first of all, so let me just check. Are you uh, legally represented? No. No, you're not legally represented. So you're litigant in person. You're willing to do it yourself, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and what's your name? Um, it's my um, my friend. Uh, her name is Belinda McKenzie. Okay, and what's your name? My name's Neely Berry. Okay, give me two seconds. Hold the line. Sure. Hello there, Miss Berry. I actually have a note on our system so we're not able to put you through. Put me through to whom? To the out of hours clerks. Who's put the note there? It's just, it's just a note that says you're not allowed to be put through, unfortunately. By whom? You've, you've got to have an audit get a trail to follow up these things. Okay, unfortunately, I'm just following my my information here, and it says that, that I can't put you through, unfortunately. There's nothing they can do for you. They've spoken to you before. No, but what's your name? Unfortunately, we're allowed to give out our names for security purposes. Um, who's your manager? Okay, so what you can do, if, if you're not happy with this, what you can do is you can call the call on Monday morning and you can you can say that you called at quarter to seven on today's date and I'm I'm one of the people on duty and they'll be able to trace the call. So are you registered with SIA? Sorry? Are you registered with SIA, security? What's for, SIA? The government security registration. I'm not, too, I'm not too sure what you're talking about, unfortunately. Well, what company do you work for? I work for HMCTS. And so I can file a complaint with HMCTS? Yeah, of course. Um, against the security at the Royal Courts of Justice and the King's Bench Division? Yeah, that's right. Yep. And you work 24-7 there, yeah? We do, that's correct, yeah. And you're not, you're not allowed to give me your name? Unfortunately not, no. Is that policy, is that HMCTS policy? It is. It's a so. Can you quote me the policy number? I don't have it in front of me, unfortunately, so I won't be able to do that. Yeah. Under what grounds have, have you got a note? Because um, I've made an application for if it is to do with my civil restraint, it's a criminal matter. So I just need this transfer to the criminal court after the stay of uh, auction of the house. Okay. So, so it's a criminal matter. Yeah. Yeah, it's my late sister's house that's been auctioned now because King's Bench Division refused to deal with it. So there's criminal liability on every individual who's had, who's obstructed the remedy of an inju so urgent which injunction. Which department would it go to? Well, the King's Bench Division uh, provide a 24-hour service to do urgent um, injunction applications, which have been denied to me since the 16th of February. In this case, so now I've written to King Charles III regarding the total breakdown of the justice system, a civil and criminal in the UK, which brings it under Crime International Cooperation Act 2003, which is anti-terrorism law, which means that England has no borders and anyone can come here and help us to get justice. Okay, unfortunately I can't put you through, so... Um... Yeah. We'll to now, just just right. to let you know, I have recorded this call and I will be making it public. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Thank you.